All right, everybody. Adam Kappel here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from different people on how to set up a Facebook fan page. And uh, so today I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to create that fan page. And then in the future, I'm going to make another video that's actually going to walk you through the steps and uh, show you different things you can do with the fan page to optimize it and retain visitors. Uh, Facebook fan pages are extremely useful for people promoting their business online. Uh, obviously, it's a uh, it's good etiquette to not go crazy on Facebook promoting your business. So, using a Facebook fan page or even group pages to promote your business is a great way of getting it out there. And uh, with Facebook fan pages, once you create it, um, you're going to want to get visitors to keep coming back. You're going to want them to, you know, just keep checking back in and see what you're pushing, see what you're promoting. And uh, so, in the second video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that. So first today, I'm going to show you the steps you need to go and create the Facebook fan page and things you have to do to uh, just get it set up and get it up and going. So first, you're going to look up here, and uh, we're at Facebook.com already. So just to get to the advertising area, you're just going to go to Facebook.com slash advertising. Okay, and once you're here, you're going to see the, the first landing page you're going to be on is the pay-per-click advertising. And I will touch on that a little bit more in another video. First, you're going to go over here to where it says Pages, right here, and click on Pages. Now we're on the Facebook Fan Pages area. And you can see there's some stuff back down here that you can also read of how to set up your fan page. To get it started quick, though, all you have to do is go over here to Create a Page and click on that. All right, and now you're on the Create a New Facebook Page. And here you are going to select what kind of category your page is. If you're a local business, uh, anything like that, so an education business in your area, uh, if, you're, you know, if you're owning a, a hotel or anything like that. So you can really use this for any, any specific business out there. It doesn't have to be specifically for, uh, for real estate or anything like that. So for now, I'm just going to hit other business. I'm going to go ahead and name my page down here. And it's very it's a good idea to first use either your business name or whatever that is and then you're going to use some keywords that might pop up in the search engines so I'm going to type in here my name on my blog internet marketing intensive I'm just going to put that straight line up there just to divide it a little bit and that, that shows a separation so then I'm going to put learn social media and internet marketing and then right here it says do not make page publicly visible at this time I would recommend that. That'll just make it so it doesn't publish to everybody's wall. You can schedule that later once you kind of get it looking better and you know, get it going a little more. So down here, you're just going to hit Create Page. And it is that easy. Right now, your page is looking ready, pretty much ready so, f for you to optimize it. Uh, so what you're going to start to do now is right away, I would recommend becoming a fan of your page. And this is just going to use your personal account. And you just click on Become a Fan. So now I have one fan, and that just makes it look better. It'll also send an update out to my friends saying, oh, hey, Adam Kappel became a fan of Internet Marketing Intensive. So then they might join it as well. So that's a good way of promoting it right off the bat. So first things you're going to start to see now that you're on your fan page here are it's pretty much very similar to your regular profile page. you got your pictures area. you got your info, photos, discussions, reviews, anything like that. So first thing I would recommend, of course, is go to Change Picture. And of course, you can upload a picture, take a picture, choose from album, anything like that. So if you want to upload a picture, just hit Upload a Picture. Then it's going to pop up this window, and then you just hit Browse. I'll just use my business card, uh, business card logo for now. So it's going to upload that picture. All right now that I uploaded my picture, it'll pop up right there. Now you can use any picture. You can use your business logo. So then also, next thing you're going to be able to do here is go to Info and right over here to edit information. Now this is going to ask if you're a business, it's going to have you kind of um, put in the hours that you're open. So if you're a storefront, you can, you know, obviously, you know, if you have an office or anything like that, you can put in your business times. Otherwise, if you don't, just uncheck all these. Then you can also right here just put in your address. And then you can also go down here to detailed information. And here you can put your website. Uh, if you have any parking, like I said, if this is a storefront, you can put that. And public transit. And a lot of this, if you have an online business, you're not going to worry about. You don't have to put that in. And then once you're done typing all that, you're just going to hit Save Changes. And that's going to be saved. So just to even show you really quick, I'm going to type in here my website. I'll show you how it pops up. 
and you can even type in as many websites as you want here. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, just doesn't have to be just one. You can type in as many as you want. So then you hit save changes. So then when I go to my info tab, it pops up right there as my website. And again, I can edit any of this. I can edit all this, you know, again later on. So don't worry about, you know, if you're in a rush or anything, don't worry about getting it all perfect because you can always come back and update it some more. So then another thing you're going to do is go over here to photos. And of course, you can upload as many photos, and I would recommend that because it'll make your uh, page a little higher in the search engines. The more you have going on in your page, the better it'll look, the better it'll be, and uh, the more people will want to keep coming back to it. So just click over here on photos, and here you can create a new photo album, and it'll show you my profile pictures that I already uploaded. And then also you've got your discussion board here, and you can start a new topic. And this will open up the discussion board, start a new topic page, and you can name your topic here, you know fan page and then you can post whatever you want you know you can even uh, set this up and I'll show you this in my second video you can set this up in coordinates to your blog so every time you make a blog post it'll be posted on the discussion board as well which is really really cool and very useful I'm just gonna hit back real quick then you've got your reviews which uh, this is for, if somebody reviews your business they can go on here and do that uh, it's not something you can really review yourself uh, but if anybody else wants to come on here and review your business, they just click here in reviews and they can uh, type in a review for you. And so if you go down here, you hit this little plus sign, this is going to show you some different tabs that we can also put in. I would recommend putting this video tab in. And you're going to see as I put that video tab in, I can actually drag these around. So if I want video to be up here, I can move it there. If I want video to come back here, I can do that. So you can keep making them there, and you know it'll always push the one back. So say I want events on there too. So then events, and it'll push reviews over here, down this down arrow here. I'll show you just a second how you can take some of these off as well. So you're gonna create a new event as well, and um, I'll make a whole another video for you on creating events because that's also a really useful tool. So let's go back over here to our wall, and your wall is very similar to your your personal page wall. So I could put on here. Thanks for joining our fan page. Just really quick, I'll hit share. And you'll see it's not going to pop up as my personal. It's going to pop up as me on uh, my fan page that is popping up on. Next thing you can also do is come down here to where it says write something about internet marketing intensive. So I can just type in a little bio about what we're doing. So I'll go ahead and type something like that in and then just click out of the box and it'll pop up right there. So then uh, you can also, another cool thing you can do is uh, if you go down here to edit page, then it's gonna bring you here to kind of the back page area where you can manage everything and get everything going uh, the way you want it to. So in here you've got your setting, your wall settings, you can change the default view for fans and uh, the control who can post on your wall. You can set it so, I'll show you here, you can set it so you can only post or you can have people you know your fans be able to post so only post by page or post by page and fan and then you have your uh, applications down here which is what I was showing you all earlier and that's where you had your photos and your videos and your your reviews and stuff like that so um, say we wanted to get rid of this reviews uh, this reviews tab come up here to application settings so then you're gonna see box available add or we can have a tab and I'll say added and then if we don't want that tab to appear at the top we just hit this remove button then we hit OK so now you'll see when we go back to our page hit view page the reviews button here is gone and you can only see it in this drop down plus tab plus tab here so we're back here at our front page and there's a ton of stuff that I could go into for probably another 30 minutes or so I'm gonna stop it there in the next video that I'm gonna be putting up for you guys I'm gonna show you some really cool strategies that you can use to where you can actually have your squeeze page built in to your Facebook fan page. So stay tuned for that. Come on back and check that out. And um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Take care.